Hi guys, I'm Andy Zambrano. I'm here to show you a soccer training exercise program. All right guys, the first exercise would be the dead bug. Um, this is a flexion exercise. So this is to focus on your anterior core. So with the dead bug, you're gonna be supine position. Raise your legs, raise your arms, activate your core by blowing out and drop one leg. Bring it back. Do it with the other leg. And a progression or regression of that, give me one second, is you would grab um, a band or a cable or whatever this is, right? And you bring it down. Hold it with both of your hands. Legs up. And do the same thing with your legs. Now this would be a progress, a regression, only because when you grab the bands, you're automatically activating your core. So this makes the exercise much easier. Now a progression is a dead bug, but you alternate your arms and your legs. I'll show you right here. Raise your arms and your legs. So make sure you alternate. So I'm gonna drop my right, my right arm and my left leg. So I'll show you right here. That's it. Cut. All right, guys. This is gonna be my second core exercise. This is gonna be an extension exercise. It's gonna work on the posterior core. So it's gonna be your hamstrings, glutes, and your lower back. I'm gonna show you right here. The first exercise will be um, quad, quad rub hip extension on your elbow. So I'm gonna show you right here. Get in a quad rub position. Elbows down. Make sure your back is straight, right? Activate your core. And you bring your leg, your right leg back. So you alternate legs. And a progression of that, a regression, I'm sorry will be on an elevated platform right here. Lay your elbows down here. Makes it, this limits the range of motion of your hip. So it makes it easier. So right here, make sure your back is straight. Activate your core and kick back. And a progression of this would be, instead of your elbows, it should be your hands. This makes it a lot harder to activate your core and keep your back straight. So I'm gonna show you right here. And then you kick back. Make sure when you kick back, your thigh aligns with your lower back and you don't arch your back. That's one cue I could show you. All right guys, the first lower body exercise will be a knee dominant bilateral exercise, which is gonna be the lateral squat. This is going to be conducted in the frontal plane. So when you shift thighs to side, especially when you're a soccer player, you tend to cut to the right or cut to the left. So this is very important. It's not like you're running straight. You're constantly in motion, moving side to side. So here's the lateral squat. Your, your knees should be about shoulder width apart, chest out, back straight. Get into like um, the universal defending side, so like stance, like this, right? And you just lean to one side, back straight, and you lean to the other. Make sure your knee does not pass your toes, and all the balance is placed on your heel. You want to make sure it's all on your heel. You lean side to side, so it can be a squat. You should really feel this in your in your hamstrings, glutes, and a little bit in your quads. A regression is you can use these triangle platforms, which sometimes I have a habit of not placing all my pressure on my heels. So I'm gonna have this here. Focus on really digging on my heels and grabbing the triangle platform. Knees back straight, chest out. Activate your core and knees side to side. And a progression of this exercise 
is a lateral lunge. So in the squat, you're just shifting your body weight to one side, but in the lunge, you are going, you're stepping into it, right? So this is more, this is more related to soccer because when you're running, you're shifting side to side. You're not really shifting your body like that. So this is ultimately what you want to try to do. So your, your legs should be about shoulder width apart. Stand up straight, stand up tall. And you step into one side or step into the other. So right here, legs straight, chest out. Activate your core and you step in. My first point of contact is my heel because when I do my toes, I do this and I won't dig into my heel. So my first point of contact is my heel. And you go down and then the opposite way you go back. You start your starting position and then you go back. Make sure that you do not lock this knee because if you lock this knee, it becomes a stretch and then you have pain and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so this is my second lower body exercise. It's gonna be the hip thrust. The hip thrust focus on your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, I'm very weak in the, my glutes and my hamstrings. I tend to overuse my hip flexors and my quads. So this is very important in increasing hip mobility, which I very like. So here in the hip thrust, and the hip thrust is a hip dominant bilateral exercise. So it's two legs and it focuses on your hip. Let me show you right here the normal hip thrust. Okay, down to prime position. Chest up, back straight, head back. Make sure your head is back. You go down. This is as far as down as I can go before I start stretching my lumbar spine. Activate core and thrust up, push up. Really squeeze the glutes. That, so that is the hip thrust. And then now a progression, a regression, sorry, is this, you put a step up here and this increases the range of motion or how much you have to thrust up. Let me show you right here. Just follow the same thing as a hip thrust. Back straight. Head back, chest out, shoulder blades out. And then you only move a little bit. This is kind of like a blue bridge scenario, which is easier. And then now a progression of the hip thrust will just be the same hip thrust, except I have my hands to my side. This now I have my hands forward. So I really have to focus on keeping my core tight and having my arm straight. Right here. Before I had it to the side, to the shoulders, now I have it up. Activate core, and then you thrust up. Make sure your arms don't go this way, this way, this way. Anyway, make sure it's straight. So that is the hip thrust. All right, guys, this is my first upper body exercise in the lateral raises. Uh, lateral raises are very relevant because when you're playing soccer, when you jump in the air, your arms are to your side. When you jump like this, you don't jump as high and you could get elbowed in the face. So the first thing you're taught is have your arms up straight, big. So this is an action of a soccer player. So when you jump, your arms should be to your side and this replicates a lateral raise. You jump up, your arms should be side. So you can get elbows in the head and you can elevate and stay in the air longer. So I'm gonna show you a lateral raise right here. Lateral raise, you abduct your shoulders, and you flex your elbows, so this chest out, just repeat this. Chest out, abduct your shoulders, flex your elbows, and bring back down, abduct them. And then a regression of that would be just shoulder abduction, not, yeah, abduction, you just Raise your arm, raise your arm. Say, I have sometimes I have tight traps, so by stretching them out, just raise them. And a uh, progression of that is when you jump, you don't jump straight from a standing position. You lose power and uh, height, so you, you can't jump like that. So you want to kind of squat down a little bit and explode up. So we could do that. No, I'm not going to do it with the weight. So you explode up, right? Squat raise so it's a squat and a lateral raise and then you jump so that's my upper body exercise all right guys this is my second upper body exercise this is going to be a horizontal pull exercise it's going to be a squat 
row. Let me show you right here. So you squat and you pull back. Make sure your chest is out, head is straight, and you pull back. You should feel a lot of pressure, a lot of tension in your hamstrings, glutes, a little bit of back, no, mostly on your back. And uh, regression of that is just doing your standing, standing straight. So it's just a normal row, standing row, you just pull back. Make sure you activate your core and your glutes, and you should really feel it in your upper back. So now a progression of the squat is a split stance. So this is, you're gonna put all your, most of your pressure on your front foot. This is gonna be kind of unilateral as well. So you pull, look straight, head forward, and you pull back. So just split stance row.